the kingdom nation is now a kingdom nation of many nations or many kingdoms under one banner of the kingdom nation all having one spirit all having one spirit of obedience to the father's will all having one understanding and knowledge of the stature of the son of god all having one and this is the father's ultimate plan for humanity that was aborted in the garden and is now being restored piece by piece it began small but it covers the entire face of the earth we are in more than 200 countries of the earth and we are engaged in 2000 cities of the world bearing the message of the father through the appointed son as his audible voice as lightning comes from the east to the west so the message of the appointed son comes in an instant to all of these people in no time at all the father will gather up his children one of these days and you will see the glory of the father beaming from all four corners of the globe and the manifestation of the sons of god and children of god will come uh, and it will uh, flourish like uh, the Father has already planned and imagined it. Thirteen years ago, there was a powerful revelation. It declared the end of the church age. The once acclaimed heavens of the religions and denominations world have been closed down. It was also 13 years ago that the day of the Lord was revealed. It is no longer the days of men. The Father in heaven will no longer tolerate sin and wickedness. The day of judgment has come. April 13, 2005 is a major turning point in the history of mankind. The Almighty Father has raised up His own Son to be the revealer of His secrets, the manifestation of His coming, and the fulfillment of His covenant towards mankind. April 13, 2005 is the day. Among the descendants of Adam, the head of appointment came to Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy. He was commissioned for the unveiling of these deep spiritual things for the purpose of establishing a nation, one that is set high above all nations of the world. So when I was born, my mother saw a vision, God in a white cloud, and she heard a voice while she was delivering me, and the voice of God said, that is my son. Until at the right timing and at the right age, I was in high school. I already had several revelations that I memorized. If you seek me, you shall find my way. The sun shall be turned to darkness, the moon into blood, for the great and notable day of the Lord come. Until one day, the orchestration of the Father brought me to not a secular college, but a Bible college. And then I studied the Bible, and I saw those verses that I saw in those dreams. They were for real. They are the words of God. And I was sent to Korea in 1973 by my denomination. That's when I heard the voice of God and told me, I will use you. I would like to know if this is really God. That brought me to one mountain and kept me. At those moments of time, that is when the timing of the calling of the Father in my life was activated. And I knew in that mountain in Kitbuk that it was God calling me. I am now in the crossroads of deciding whether to follow my own will, which is a bright future. This one is a, a way that is so uncertain. I cannot see the future here. But I know this is the Father's will, so I have to decide. Finally, I weighed everything in the balance of eternity and after a while I decided to follow the Father's will no matter what. In Tamayo, the spirit will see that it was born in the life of Pastor Apollo in Kitbog had to be nurtured. It had to grow. 
It might even die as the devil also unleashed its forces to prevent the production of the sun. Every day, my trials and temptations and tribulations in my tamayong grew heavier and the suffering became more intense until my decision became solid. It became so solid that I told the devil, my heart is fixed, my mind is made up. A son is given. The sonship goes through the thread of salvation's history from the Old to the New Testament, from Genesis to Revelation. First created son Adam lost everything, sonship and kingship, the begotten son's ministry to redeem is to take back what we have lost and he succeeded and then he found one from the fallen Adamic race that was able to enter into the new agreement, new covenant, sign his name there by obedience no matter what and now salvation is completed. Thirteen years later, the Kingdom Nation stands at the threshold of another astounding revelation. Spiritually, we are now on the level of glorification. Glorification means uh, one day the Father will take away mortality and He will replace it with immortality. He will take away corruption and then He will replace it with incorruptibility. We are very close now than we have ever had in our lives before as it is just a matter of time it is just a matter of a twinkling of an eye all of this will culminate into that very momentous event of this body dawning on the body of incorruptibility and immortality this is the whole meaning of being born again in the spirit of obedience to the Father's will. And this is all the meaning of what eternal life is. From one, we became six million. Every day, children are being born into the Kingdom Nation. The Kingdom Nation is a nation above all nations of the earth. This is a government of a higher world. We will raise up His banner high and say to Him, this is now the fulfillment of the Father. What's to desire on this earth when He came to have a nation of His own, a nation where He is King? A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in His time. 